What's up, everyone? It is Mad Dog here with PSO2's new Genesis July event. So, this video, I'm just going to showcase everything without well, everything. Just a little small little tidbits of the July event. So, I see on the screen here, these are some of the rewards you can get from the July event. Things from star gems to stamps to hair to these weapons and such, which I don't recommend getting the weapons, and I'll explain a little later on in the video. But main things to note is that a lot of these items do have a item cap on how many you can get. So for example, you can get about like 50 of uh, the chunks and stuff like that. And all the, um, the augments for might precision and technique, you're going to get like 10 of them and stuff like that. So it's really just a one off on whichever one you'll get for your weapons. And then alpha reactors, which is another huge thing. You know, you can sell them for 3,500 Masetta in Masetta, sorry, and then grinders. So there are a lot of good important things that you should be getting from this event. Um, the weapons, again, they're great weapons, but again, I'll show you just down the road. So if you've ever been getting alpha reactors and don't know what they're for, as you see right here, they're just sold. So just sell any of the ones you have. I know there's a map on where alpha reactors are and stuff like that. Um, if you're in the Discord for the PSO2 JP, uh, the English translation, I know they have uh, maps that I believe change daily um, that'll show you things like the locations of those and Rappi. So just a quick thing when you're out doing these events, because I've been getting dropped like seriously crazy throughout this entire event make sure that if you have premium make sure you eat food you can eat food at any time when you're in town and any ryuka device so make sure you nosh on something so you can get those experience boosts i've gotten so many rare weapons like the sword on my back right now just from simply just having just that rare drop alone so um I'm going to teleport here and just show you um, the next area about, you know, drops and enemies and such. So let's jump on over. So when you're out on the field, for right now, as far as I can tell, Mount Magnus seems to be the place where enemies with the special symbols that do drop the currency for this event drop. There is a cap of like 99,900 per week which if you hit the cap that you've probably been going a lot so as you can see i just picked up Masetta and the currency there so pretty much you're going to just be finding enemies who have weaknesses to lightning so if they're lightning weak enemies they're going to be carrying a lot of the stuff so you pretty much if you just farm mount magnus and bosses that really have this it won't take you long to get what you do need of course just remember that there is a cap of how much you can earn a week and if you hit that cap you know then yeah you've been grinding quite a bit um there are dailies and weeklies that you can do for the event to help you earn like defeating the Serimo or whatever they're called rappies the event rappies and as you can see it just got a rare um it's just it's just so easy to get rares doing this event and it's really good so if you're missing something or if you're just trying to get your bp up doing this is just a surefire way just to really get what you're looking for in the event now the weapons you can only get one weapon i've already gotten three of them so far and you can just get them as drops so if you are having really bad luck getting these weapons of course you can buy them but if you're going to be farming this event anyway i would just you know hopefully you get a drop keep in mind the rod they don't have a rod because you know forces can use lightning techs already so you already got a good force weapon and you know you pretty much don't really have to worry about it but all the other classes do have lightning weapons so if you don't have this weapon by the time this event is over or very close to i would go ahead and buy them anyway just so you can have a nice lightning weapon to use for the duration of whenever more elemental weapons come out. And they did state that they're going to have more events and such where there'll be ice, there'll be fire, and other elements. So definitely get yourself some of these Gleason weapons as they're going to really come in handy, especially for lightning weak enemies. 
Um, another few things to note about the event is that Mount Magnus is probably the best place to find Rappies. Um, I know a lot of people have been really struggling to find Rappies, which I did. And just so randomly, they just popped up on Mount Magnus. So, yeah. A few things more to know about the event. Um, you do have to have a battle power of at least 1186 to fight the boss. Now, the boss will be, um, will be changed into the event, which gives you the other part of the, um, the weeklies that you do need to do. Um, she gives you like a little small little quest line of what you should be doing. So definitely make sure you're able to do the urgent quest to fight, uh, I can't remember his name, but he's the seasonal event variant of him. He'll have that big little ice thing on, him, on his head and they'll be weak to lightning. So make sure you got your power, battle power enough. This event will definitely get your battle power hard enough. So with that, I'm just going to let the rest of this clip play. It's about three more minutes of gameplay. So hope you guys enjoy this event. It's, it's been really fun. I do plan on really grinding out the rest of this month doing this event. Um, we do have another content update coming in August. I will make another video about that. So enjoy the rest of this. Like I said, another three minutes. So take care, guys.